pencils out of sand, reaching for the grand. Check my hat. We're rolling. Good afternoon. It's a Tuesday. I've got the week off. Handed him a notice from work today. So I've got a new job. Where better to be than the beautiful Lake District. Drink it in. Windy one. A bit chilly. So I'm going to do a bit of a lowland camp. Tonight, I'm not going up on the tops, I'm going to do a bit of a shore camp. I've um, got my one Tigris little bush box thing with me, so I'm going to have a controlled, contained fire on the shoreline um, on the rocks. So I'm not going to be scorching any land for anyone who wants to get, get busy and comments at me. And yeah, just going to have a couple of beers and chill out. And um, if you saw my last video, that was a bit of a Midweek nightmare to be honest, nearly got shot. Link up here or down there or wherever YouTube put it. So this will be no such adventure tonight. Simple one. Chill by the shoreline. I've got a couple of hours till sunset. I'm just gonna get up there, get there, get set up, and just relax in my tent. No ambitions for this one. Just pure enjoyment in the great outdoors. So unless anything mega happens on the way there. Turns out that heroic move wasn't even needed. I was on the wrong path. I didn't video the next bit because I stepped in the water on the way back. So I've got wet feet showing off in front of my mates. For no, for no. Anyway, I'm going over there. So see you there. Oh yeah, sorry. Better light. Um. Got some new kit as well, I'll talk you through. It's nice, it's awesome little bag. Um, that's good. And um, yeah, so we'll have a bit of a kit chat. And I'd run for a while. So we'll talk through some of that when I get to camp. Okay, I'm going now. Okay, I'm gonna go just there. Just checking these. One thing, if you are camping near trees, just make sure they look like healthy, like they're not rotting from the inside. We're gonna on the way down. There's a lot of deadfall around here, but these these two are the ones that can kill me. They seem pretty healthy. That one, that is way out, but I'm not in range of that. You can see up there, kind of a bit of a deadfall. Oh, nice birch there, get some birch bark for that. Fire. There's actually a fire pit there, someone's already had one, so. That's handy. But yeah, I'm gonna get pitched up, set up here. And then I'll bring you back when I'm all set up. And then tomorrow's view the brekkie. Woo! Love it. There she is, look. 
the nature hike cloud peak too such a nice tent looks awesome amongst the trees doesn't it Inconspic inconspicuously unplanned luck more than judgment i'm having my first kind of woodland camp tonight which i'm buzzing about i'm doing my proper first bushcraft camp on saturday um kind of i know i know um through work circles i actually watched my video last week in the woods and said do i do i want to go on a, a bushcraft bushcraft camp with him as he's been doing it for a number of years so as absolutely yeah i will do so be good to do my first one with someone who knows what they're doing and i can learn a bit so alistair if you're watching thanks very much looking forward to the camp so yeah all set up now well i'm not set up the tent set up um the rain started coming down a bit i was going to go collect a little bit of wood um which i might do but look at that what a spot to camp in although the weather does look like it's coming in now it's well moody up there it looks gorgeous but yeah what a beautiful spot so sorry people making fires and doing a fire pit responsible etc but putting tin cans in and stuff take your stuff you dickheads winds me up so honestly rule number one on it leave no trace just just be responsible don't be a dick and don't give us all a bad name if that's you who's made that and that's your cam Shame on you. Shame on you. Since I last, let's get some more light in here. There we go. Well, since I last spoke to you, which was about two hours ago, it has not stopped raining. <laughs> so I'm tent bound. Which is when this tent comes into its own. It is so spacious, this Cloud Peak 2. I love it. I love the large vestibules because I'm going to do my cooking in there. The rain doesn't affect me in that way. There's a nice bit of space inside. Um, so yeah, so I've just been chilling out really. Downloading some GoPro footage off here onto the app. I'm just laying down. So I had a brew, had a little snack bar thing that I had. But yeah, it's going to be a long night. It's 20 to 6 now. Um, hammering it down the fire is not happening again the second video in a row but don't matter does it we're out camping just loving it it's just so peaceful the sound of the rain on the tent is well nice and with being in this little cove for whatever it is that i mean it's um yeah pitch black it's sheltered from the wind which is good so the tent's not flapping about so it's actually quite relaxing so i think what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna have some tea um show you what i brought with me and then um, yeah get some tea on is it too early to crack open a beer i'll wait till six o'clock i'll have some tea and I'll show you some some of the gear I've got with me. But it's going to be a, a long night of solitude. I've got no signal on my phone, so it's literally just me and my thoughts. Joy. Tonight's feast on the menu is an adventure food pasta bolognese. Decent. Got some broccoli with me, so I'm trying to be healthy now, aren't I? And then, oh, what's that that snuck in? Dairy milk pots of joy. And I can assure you that they're not lying when they call them pots of joy. They are decent. Sorted here. 
Wind's picking up. Rain hasn't stopped. But I'm on my tee. Decent that. And I've just cracked open a Vocation Life and Death Classic IPA. So I thought I'd share my first sippy sip with you. It is Vocation Brewery, Happy, oh, Hoppy, <laughs> see what they've done there, Tropical and Citrusy. 6.5%. Now I've only got two of them. 6.5% is probably on my, as Hayes Outdoor would call it, nappy time limit. I'm not a great drinker of very strong beers. But let's have a sip on this one. Mmm. That's lovely. Hoppy, tropical, citrusy. Tick, tick, tick. Three kilos of hops and 40 kilos of barley selflessly gave their lives to make every barrel of our punchy bestseller its of our punchy bestseller. It's a lot to ask, but their new life as this hop forward US style IPA makes their sacrifice worthwhile. Yes, it does. Lest we forget. Thank you. Your sacrifice was not in vain. That is lovely. Very nice. It's vegan as well. Not that I'm a vegan. But if you are, you are. By the way, good health. Hope you're all doing well. Hope the head's all doing well. Yeah. Coming to the end of a very turbulent year, aren't we? 2021, not as shit as 2020. 2022 will soon be with us. But what's the point in wishing our lives away and looking too far into the future? Got to enjoy it, haven't you? That's why Tuesday nights, I'm sat here having a beer, talking to a camera, next to a lake on my own. But I like watching other people do this on YouTube, so Hopefully, anyone watching this video is enjoying watching me do it. So, and if you are watching, thank you very much. And thank you for subscribing. I'm over the 300 mark now, which I know it's a mini, it's a mini milestone. It's not, I mean, it's, it's not massive subscribers, is it? But it's 300, it's a mini milestone. It's on my quest to get a thousand subscribers. The wind's blowing the bloody camera around. Come on, I'm having a poignant moment here. Um, but I'm on a quest to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm in no rush. Um, and even if I didn't get to it, I'll keep making the videos because I enjoy doing it. Um, I'll watch these back to look at my camping trips when I'm older. Some of the kids can look back on. I was going to say with pride, but they can look back and see when their dad were coming up for 40 year old. He used to sit in a tent on his own talking to a GoPro. But if you are watching this, kids, this is what your dad will like. Deal with it. But I'm so grateful to everyone who subscribes, everyone who watches and clicks and comments and, and likes the videos. Thank you so much. And if anyone gets anything out of them, then fantastic. Um, let me know what you want to see in future videos um, in the comments. I know they've been a bit sporadic. I sometimes do my wild camps in the mountains, in my tent camps. I've got done some roof, roof tent camping now. I'll be doing a lot more of that in the winter. So let me know if you want to see any more of that and, and kind of what style of camping you want to see. Um, and same with the bushcraft stuff. I'm doing my first bushcraft camp on Saturday night, so I'm really looking forward to that. So, sorry, you're falling over here. I've got you propped up, but that'll do. So yeah, so let me know kind of the videos you want to see, but as always, I, I really appreciate anyone who makes a comment and comments on the videos and likes it and takes the time to watch it. It, it really does mean a lot for me. Um, and it kind of makes making the videos worthwhile. So, So thanks to you and all the best and yeah let's keep growing this community oh jesus that's nice oh. doze off for a bit then oh hello hot head It stopped raining, there's no wind, and it is just beautifully quiet right now. Just the sound of the 
waves lapping in in the lake. Um, just been listening to a podcast and chilling out, but it's it's only half eight. But I think I'm gonna get my head down and try and get some some kip and take advantage of this free sleep sounds. And I'll um I'll show you a bit of stuff in the morning, but unless anything exciting happens. Hopefully see you after a good night's sleep. night was so still last night I've just been sitting watching this stunning lake for like an hour an hour and a half just watching it get light sunrise was over there so I didn't really catch much but did a bit of a time lapse oh my god what a place to wake up in I didn't sleep too bad last night on and off that trekology mat is, is going back to the net it's definitely got a slow puncture but I've got myself a Thermarest Z light, um, which worked to treat underneath, it kept me warm. Um, I do need a proper winter sleeping bag though. So if anyone's got any recommendations for a budget four season down sleeping bag or a quilt, just leave me some um, recommendations in the comments down below. Oh, look at it! Look at that! absolutely love it oh my god this is what it's all about this is why i do it i love it well, i said i love it i do i love it <laughs> it's good for the soul in it let's have a look at tent how's she doing look at her. there she is right i'm gonna get packed up anyway we'll do one of these and there we go. All done. Um, don't need these, it's quite warm. Put these away and I'll bring you back. Oh, right, done, dusted, all packed up, ready to go. Don't really want to leave this place, but I've got stuff to do today. Um, before I go, I want to just tell you quickly about this. So this is a uh, new bag I've been trying out. Um, I usually use the Om um, like chest pouch, but I find it a bit fiddly and a bit tricky. Uh, so I've been looking for something different to carry on my camera gear and my little bits and pieces that I need quick access to. And then on one of my videos, um, uh, kind of the silent hike video, um, this company commented on it, they're called Instinct London. Um, and they're currently designing a couple of prototypes that they've got on Kickstarter. And they said, can we send you this bag designed for hikers um, and the outdoors? Can we send you it and you can put it through paces, see, see what you think about it? So I said, yes, yeah, send it along. So I had a choice of two. Uh, this is the large sling bag. Um, I have to find out what the other one's called. I'll put the links down in the description and the, the links to the Kickstarter in the description. But do you know what? It's absolutely class. It's um, really easy access. It's quite quite a large like main pouch, but I've got stuff in here. Like I put my first aid kit in here, so it's really easy access to. I've got my GoPro selfie stick. You're on the tripod now, but when you're not, I put um, the GoPro and the selfie stick in here. Um, I've got my AirPods. Uh, got a compass, 
it's good as well so i can put an additional tripod so it's got a tripod stand here and actually with the larger within reason tripod you've got these these cool straps here as well that you can connect your your tripod to so you've pretty much got everything in one in one place so it, it's class and it is really big i managed to get a large gas canister with um like my large cook set in here as well so if you're going out on a day hike and you just want to put a little cook set in there um it's absolutely it's got loads of space in there so yeah get my first aid kit back in there I believe it's weatherproof as well. Let's get my weather stuff back in there. Right, really good quality zips, strong zips. And then this little strap here, genius little idea, it's a little magnet. So that just connects off like that and then clips back on. That way. <laughs> yeah. So really easy access on and off. So if you're carrying it like I am under your backpack strap, you can um, you can get access to it really easy. And then at the back here, let me show you. You've got an even like a more secure pouch. So we can see this, which is weatherproof. I've, I put my phone in there. But you put your phone in, your keys. I mean, again, it's a pretty decent size. It looks quite a small bag. And then you've got these awesome pockets in the front as well, which I just keep a couple of. Um, cables, GoPro mounts. But for someone who who vlogs when they're camping like I do, I've been looking for something, where's my straps? I've been looking for something to um, to kind of get easy access to all my gear. And as I say, that chest pouch is all right, but it's a, I find it a bit fiddly. I struggle to open it with one hand. The zips on this are fantastic. Um, I believe this is the prototype. I think they're actually going to reverse the zip. Um, but the other great thing, what I think it'd be good for, if it wasn't persisting it down all last night, was it's a really good thing to like, once you've set up camp and dump your stuff, just have as a little day sack. Just put a little, like your brew kit in and your camera or fire, fire sticks, what, fire lighters, whatever, and just go have a brew and have a really little compact bag. But I'm made up with it. I was honestly a bit skeptical when it first turned up thinking it wasn't that big but the amount of stuff i can fit in there i think this is going to be with me on pretty much all my hikes one minor criticism if i've got because i'm going to do an honest review i said I'd, I'd do an honest review um i'm quite a tall broad slash fat person so i could do with a strap being a little bit longer just so it sits a bit lower on me but other than that no brilliant great day pack for hiking if you do a bit of vlogging or filming your trips fantastic for your camera gear or even just as like a travel bag like a good airport bag so instinct london check it out I'll, I'll put the link down in the um in the description i don't get a tosser for doing this i, I don't get out i mean they sent me the bag but i don't get any kickbacks or anything so there's no in it for me but have a look if you're after a, a day bag i can i can recommend this one really well made seems really well stitched Yeah, that's it. Instinct London, they're called. They're on Instagram. And um, I'll put the link down here. That's me done. I'm gonna head back to the car now. There's like hikers starting to mill around now, so as much as I like talking to strangers on the internet, I don't like doing it with people watching me. <laughs> um, another awesome, oh, a couple of robins there. Um, another awesome camp. Actually, one of my favourite ever. Uh, my favourite ever morning after camping, definitely. Just so serene this morning. It was beautiful. Um, I say bushcraft camp on Saturday. If you stuck with this video all the way through, thank you so much. Just um, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. It really helps me get some engagement on YouTube. Uh, click subscribe if you like what you see and hit the bell notification to make sure you um, you get notified whenever I post a new video. And yeah, just um, I, I really appreciate everyone who watches and everyone who subscribes. And as always, I really, really, really recommend 
just getting out and doing this. It costs a bit of money to get some kit together. You don't need the best kit in the world, but these campsites are free. And as long as we respect them, as long as we leave no trace, as long as we leave them in a better state than when we found them, just come out and enjoy them because this is a gift given to us um, that too many of us take for granted. And this is just, it's good for the soul. It's so good for your noggin if you struggle. Um, but yeah, just get out there and enjoy it. And then um, I'll see you on the next one.